British League encounter, the Oxford Cheetahs versus the Cradley Heathens. Lineup for Oxford, skipper Hans Nielsen, with uh, Jeremy Luckhurst coming in for Per Sorensen, Simon Wigg, Andy Graham, Marvin Cox, with reserves Nigel Diaz and John Sermon. Whilst for Cradley, it's Yano Pedersen, Simon Cross, world champion Eric Gunson, Steve Bastable, Phil Collins, reserves Paul Fry and Nigel Lever. to Hotsford in this first race. Heat number two then, Diaz, Sermon, Fry, Lever. And the starter's orders. And they're away. And it's Lever. Lever to the front for Cradley. With Nigel Diaz chasing. Lever going well with Diath trying hard. And in third spot, Fry, lap number two. Not, oh dear, a bad spill there, and the other rider somehow miraculously missed the uh, Nigel Lever. He's back up on his bike, but his teammate, Paul Fry, suffered the worst there by the looks of things. Well, let's hope he's not too badly hurt. Track man there just checking to see if he's all right and uh, what's going to happen in the ring. Well, I would think the referee will exclude Nigel Lever, and of course, if that is the case, uh, Bradley will only have one rider in the rerun because uh, it's the reserves race. Well, rerunner heat number two then, and three riders only Nigel Diaz, John Sermon, and Paul Fry. Waiting for John Sermon. Here he comes. Starting my 
Ross pulling them down. Who's it going to be? And they're away, and it's Diap. Diap over Fry, and Sermon in third place. Down that back straight for the first time. Nigel Diap. Diaz going a bit wide there, but still holding front position. Really a little bit dodgy on that second bend there he is, and he's still in front now, got that speed. Diaz drops, but... Fry still in second place. Well, it looks like it's going to be a clear win tonight. Yeah, over the finishing line. Paul Fry second. A John Sermon third. A 4 2 to Oxford to make it progressively eight points to the Cheetahs, four to the Heathens. Sorting the cells out then. And heat number three, Cox Graham, Collins Baston. in the red, Graham in the blue, Collins in the white, and Bastable here on the Is he going to be? And they're away, and it's Phil Collins to the front, Phil Collins out in front of Marvin Cox, and Andy Graham, his front wheel up in the air there. Collins going well, chased hard by Cox. Cox breathing down his neck as they come out the last turn for the first lap and into lap number two. The white leathered, white helmeted Phil Collins going well, chased hard by Marvin Cox. Collins over Cox and Cox giving it all he's got. But to no avail. That will be and Phil Collins and Cox coming up fast on the outside of Collins. But it's still Collins with Cox coming round him there, shoulder to shoulder, and it's Cox to the front over Phil Collins now. Marvin Cox out in front of Phil Collins, lap number four. Cox going well, Collins second, with Andy Graham third. Cox front wheel up in the air there as he came down the back straight as they come in and out the last turn, the red coming in, Marvin Cox. A good win indeed for Oxford. Collins second, and Andy Graham third. Well, the third consecutive 4-2, on the trot for the Oxford Cheetahs. Well, that makes the points 12 to Oxford, 6 to Cradley. And back in the pits they go, Crowell and Green. Starting Marshall calling the four riders down. Wig, Deer, Gunderson, Weaver. Where's Wiggy gone? over Lever. Well, it's Eric Gunderson out in front from Simon Wig with Wig chasing hard. Down the place for Lever. Lap number two. Gunderson going well. And Wig unable to make any impression. Well, the white leathered, white helmeted Eric Gunderson. Lap number three out in front for the Gradley Heathens. Wig second. Down. Doesn't look as though Gunderson's going to be caught. Down that back straight for the last time, and it looks odds on it's going to be victory to the skipper of the Cradley Heathens, Eric Gunderson. And he waves his hand in acknowledgement before he's got over that line. 
Well, the points shared three all for the first time this evening, making it 15-9. Who's it going to be then for heat number five? Cox, Graham, Patterson, Cross. And away, Cox, Graham, Patterson, Cross. It's Cox over Patterson. Cross in third place, only Graham last. Marvin Cox chased hard by Yano Patterson. Lap number two. Cross going. Uh, Cox going well, Cross still in third place, as they pour down that back straight, Marvin Cross with the Yano Pedersen trying to Lap three, place is the same with uh, Marvin Cox holding off Yano Pedersen. Well, looks like John, it's going to be Cox, although Pedersen's trying hard. It's Andy Graham chasing hard on Cross as they come down the back straight for the last time. Marvin Cox out in front of Yellow Pedersen. Andy Graham still trying hard, but no, he just didn't do it. Well, the point shared three apiece for the second time this evening, making it 18 12. Lookhurst in third place, Paul Fry at the back. Well, Eric Gunderson going well, chased hard by Hans Nielsen. A battle with the Danes here as they come on to lap number two. The white helmeted uh, Eric Gunderson over the red helmeted uh, Dane Hans Nielsen. Down the back straight, they zip for the second time. The world champion going well. The black leather Nielsen. Chase, chase, chase. Coming up fast on Gunderson, coming on the inside, but Gunderson got the speed on the outside. Gunderson holding from position just from Hans Nielsen, who's battling away, chasing hard, trying hard. Gunderson going forward, Nielsen coming in, but Gunderson got the advantage still. And Nielsen breathing down his neck as they pour down the back straight for the last time. It's Nielsen closing, front wheel up in the air. Still Gunderson as they come in and out that last turn. It's Gunderson and it's Nielsen going inside the Gunderson just about made it. Wow, what a finish. Well, we just got to wait for the referee's verdict on that. And sporting handshakes from the two Danes there. The scoreline. 15. Well, the green leathered wig turning round, going back. Gunson, two races on the trot here. There's John Sermon.
riders being called down to the line. Waiting for Eric Gunn as soon as he keeps being told to get down to that line. He's coming down now. Wing Sermon, Collins Gunn. Just a slender six-point advantage in this closely fought league match. Well, heat number eight, tactical substitute again from uh, Colin Pratt, plugging in Yano Pedersen for Nigel Lever. He's in with Solomon Cross and now against Jeremy Lepurst and Nigel Diaz replacing reserve John Servant. Well, can the heathens fight back? They should pull some points back here. Pedersen going round on the outside to join Cross. Yano Pedersen coming round his teammate Simon Cross. Nigel Diaz in third place. With Jeremy Luckers bringing up the rear. Luckers now inside. No. Yano Pedersen. trying hard but to no avail as they roar down the back straight. Yano Pedersen well out in front. Simon Cross second. Jeremy Lucas third with Nigel Diaz bringing up the rear. The wheels have been a shower flying. It looks odds on that the Cradley Heathens are going to be hitting back with a five wood in this race. Well, a good win indeed to Yano Pedersen. Second, his teammate Simon Cross, with Jeremy Luckers third. Well, that uh, narrows it down now to just two points after eight races. 25 Oxford, 23 Cradley. <laughs> Four riders coming down to the line there for heat number nine. Starting Marshall calling them down. Cox Graham, Gunderson Fry. They're away. And it's Gunderson over Graham. Gunderson over Graham. Cox in third place. Fry at the back. Gunderson going well, Andy Graham trying hard, and Marvin Cox come round the outside of his teammate, chasing on Gunderson. Andy Graham back inside on the inside position. Cox scraping the boards as they roar down the back straight for the second time. Andy Graham now holding 
second place from his teammate Marvin Cox, who's winding in on going round on the outside. It's still Eric Gunderson. Lap number three in a wide helmet in Eric Gunderson with Cox and Graham. Chase, chase, chase. Cox holding second place now from his teammate Graham. The world champion going well with Cox chasing hard. Lap number four. And the red helmet in Marvin Cox creeping up, trying hard on Gunderson, but Gunderson pulling away on the straight. Well, is Gunderson going to hold on for the Heathens? Cox trying hard, but no, to no avail. A win to Gunderson over the Cheetahs. The point shared three apiece. Well, still only two points in it. Back into the pits. Nielsen going to try another start. Away he goes. Down comes Jeremy Luckhurst. Well, Luckhurst got the outside position to Phil Collins. Nielsen on number two. And Steve Bastable, he's got the inside position. Where's Luckhurst got to? Down he goes. Phil Collins just uh, checking everything's okay. So down they come then for heat number 10. into second place from Phil Collins and Phil Collins coming round on the outside of Lukerst beautifully. On to lap number two, the red helmet in Hans Nielsen out in front. Phil Collins down the back straight in second place. Jeremy Lukerst third with Stevie Boy Bastable last. Nielsen coming round, lap three. Phil Collins trying but to no avail. The black leathered Nielsen a commanding lead. Phil Collins going to catch Hans Nielsen. In and out the last turn, a good win to Nielsen. Phil Collins second. But Jeremy Luckhurst third. 4 2 to the Cheetahs to make it 32 28. And they increase their lead back now to four points with three races remaining. Hans waving to the crowd. As he goes back into the pits. Followed by teammate Jeremy Lucas, Bill Collins, and Steve Bastard. Lever on the outside position. Here comes Jano Pedersen.
Twiggy over Yano Pedersen. And Sermon in third place, just from down that back straight, and it's Pedersen chasing after Wig. Nigel Lever at the back. Down that back straight for the second time, the green leather Wig out in front of Yano Pedersen. Pedersen trying hard, but to no avail. Sermon holding third place. The wheels have in the shell flying. Still wingy boy going well. Chased hard by Yano Pedersen. Pedersen trying hard, but unable to catch wing. Sermon still in third place. Sides on, it's going to be a win to wing over Pedersen. Sermon third, a 4 2 again to Oxford to give them a six point advantage. 36 30 with two races to go. Well, in heat number 12, um, Cradley got two of the good riders here, so uh, they can't take advantage of the tactical substitute in this one. It should be another race and a half because it's Hans Nielsen in the red helmet for Oxford, Andy Graham in the blue, Eric Gunderson in the white, and Phil Collins in the yellow and black. Four riders coming down now for heat number 12. Nielsen Graham, Gunderson Collins. Gunderson and Nielsen together there, it's Gunderson got the edge on Nielsen and Nielsen coming trying to get round on the outside but Gunderson got the speed, Phil Collins holding third place, right, it's Eric Gunderson with Nielsen up his stove pipe and Nielsen got on the inside, the world champion beautifully, Nielsen to the front, Gunderson trying hard, Phil Collins just holding off Andy Graham as they pour down that back straight for the second time, Hans Nielsen chased past by Eric Gunderson, Nielsen on the grip the arm. Helmet in black leather and the white helmet in. Eric Gunderson trying hard to get inside but to no avail. Nielsen pulling the way down the back straight. Well, no quarter asked, no quarter given in this sport speedway. Hans Nielsen, Eric Gunderson, Phil Collins, Andy Graham, Nielsen pulling away. Front wheel up in the air there. In and out of the last turn, the scintillating wheel. And as he goes over the line in ecstasy. Well, the point shared three apiece in that one, which makes it 39 33. And Oxford just cannot be caught, even if they've got no finishers in heat 13. Heat number 13, then. Lucky for some, and lucky for others. For Oxford, Simon Wiggin Red. Marvin Cox in blue, and those two having a chat together there, discussing tactics. In the white helmet, Yano Pedersen, and yellow and black, Stevie Baskin. Well, Pedersen got the inside to win. Baskin on number three, with Marvin Cox on the outside, as they sort themselves out at the start. Trying hard on Yano Pedersen and Pedersen chasing on Wig. Wig looking round to see where his teammate is. And it's Yano Pedersen coming on the inside of Wig, but no Wig grimly holding front position as they wore down that back straight for the second time. The red helmeted green leathered Simon Wig with the white helmeted Yano Pedersen chase, chase, chase. 
lap number three and Patterson coming on the inside of wing. And we've come back round on the outside. They're almost glued together and it looked as though they caught each other. But they're all still on and Marvin Cox trying hard to get round on the outside of Yano Patterson. Now he's switching to the inside. As we come on to lap number four, Cox chasing Patterson. Cox trying to get inside, but Yano Patterson grimly holding that second place with Simon Wig out in front there. Pedersen chasing after Wig as they come in and out the last turn. It's Simon Wig, Yano Pedersen, Marvin Cox, the best race of the evening. What a cracker indeed, Speedway at his scintillating best. Well, sporting handshakes there from Simon Wig and Yano Pedersen. And Wiggy looking round for Marvin Cox saying, where'd you get to, mate? Well, the final score then, 43 Oxford, 35, and back into the pits for a well-earned breather. Well, round come the uh, victorious Oxford cheaters on a lap of honour and running through the scores. Skipper Hans Nielsen at 11. Jeremy Luckhurst, guest in for Per Sorensen, 4. Simon Wig, 11. Andy Graham, 2. Marvin Cox, 9. Nigel D. F, 4. John Sermon, 2. A total of 43. Across the Cracker Heathens, Yellow Patterson, 11. Simon Cox, 3. Eric Gunnison, 13. Stevie Baston with no score, Phil Collins 6, Reserve Paul Fry 2, Reserve Nigel Lever no score, and a total of 35. Match race time then, and can Marvin Cox, the holder, Challenger tonight, world champion Eric Gunson. Cox in the red helmet. On the outside grid, Eric Gunderson on number two grid in the white helmet. Sorting themselves out. over the holder Marvin Cox and Cox coming up on the inside of Gunderson there's shoulder to shoulder Gunderson got the edge on Cox and it's still Gunderson with Marvin Cox breathing down his neck lap number two and it's Cox trying hard to catch Gunderson Gunderson grimly holding front position with Cox trying hard breathing down Gunderson's stove and it's Cox coming on the inside of Gunderson beautifully Cox over Gunderson now. Gunderson trying hard as they roar down that back straight. The red helmeted Marvin Cox out in front. Eric Gunderson second. Cox going well. Gunderson trying, but to no avail. Marvin Cox increasing his lead as he goes down that back straight. The red helmeted present holder looks as though he's going to hang on to that as he crosses the finishing line and he waves his arm there waves to the crowd a cleanse fish and he turns round and sportingly shakes Eric Gunderson's hand the world champion back into the pits and the golden helmet holder hanging on to his crown still Waving away to the crowd there. A pleased Marvin Cox going on a lap of honour. Well, how pleased he must be in front of his own crowd. <laughs> and he's clenched fist there, shaking away, saying, I've done it again, I've done it. I've still got that golden helmet.
Sash and it's Hans Nielsen in the red helmet, Nigel Diaz in the blue, world champion Eric Gunderson in the white, and that's Giano Pedersen just coming down to the line in the yellow and black helmet. Yano Pedersen now third from Nigel Diaz. As he comes on at number two, Nielsen going well, chased by the world champion Yano Pedersen in third place. Hans Nielsen out in front, going well. At three, it's Nielsen pulling away from Gunderson with Yano Pedersen. Third, with Nigel Diaz coming in last. 